Who can think about Valentine's Day without thinking about chocolate? But there's definitely more than just sweet to consider. Here's some great food and wine pairings for that someone special. Oysters. Make your way to your local seafood shop and pick up a dozen bivalves. What I'd recommend to go with your oysters are sparkling wines from Canada. I'd recommend something from Nova Scotia, Ontario, or even British Columbia. We do very well with all three provinces. Cheese is something that people want to pair with wine all the time, though it's actually rather difficult. There are a few classic pairings that work every single time. One I would suggest is goat's cheese with Sauvignon Blanc. Sauvignon Blanc specifically from the Loire Valley, perhaps Puy Fumé or Sancerre would work very well, or you can go with a great New Zealand example. Another classic pairing is port and blue cheese. I personally don't even like blue cheese, though the sweetness of port brings out the salty richness of blue cheese and turns it into something just ethereal. Cured meats and olives go extremely well with the world's most underappreciated and undervalued wine, which is sherry. The bright vibrancy of sherry pairs extremely well with the briny saltiness of the olives and meats. So when considering chocolate, I want you to think about a few things. Is it dark chocolate or milk chocolate? If you are going with milk chocolate, I'd recommend the grape variety Muscat. Reason being, it's quite aromatic, quite fresh, there's a bit of sweetness often, works very well with the sweetness in the milk chocolate. If you're going with dark chocolate, I'd recommend something a bit more brooding, perhaps Bordeaux. An aged Bordeaux would work even better. The tannins in the Bordeaux work very well with the tannins in the chocolate. A box of chocolates and a sweet wine will do in a pinch, but these recommendations aren't that much more work and they're definitely going to impress.